All right, y'all. So I want to go back over the power of meditation, mudras, and your fingers. And once I read this to y'all, to break this down so that y'all get an understanding of it and how to manifest things and bring things into fruition, I'm going to turn it over to something else. I'm going to give you the whole layout and breakdown of this whole situation and how I and how all the power lies in your hands. So your hands and fingers, very powerful. So let's get back into it. So mudras are all about the fingers and each finger is packed with nerve, endings, energy, and a meaning all in its own. The correct play of fingers gives the mudra the potency to heal, let's look at the five fingers. The thumb represents the element, earth, the stomach, and word. The index finger represents the element, metal, the lungs, and the large intestine, and the emotions are depression, sadness, and grief. The middle finger is the element, fire, the heart, small intestine, circulatory and respiratory system, and the emotions are impatience and hastiness. The rain finger is the element wood and is connected to the liver, gallbladder, and nervous system and corresponds to anger. The little finger corresponds to water, the kidneys, and fear. If you are overwhelmed by emotion, just squeeze the corresponding finger a few times and you will feel better. It works. In palmistry and astrology, to the fingers depict profound meaning. The little finger is Mercury, the rain finger Apollo, the middle finger Saturn, the index finger Jupiter, and the thumb is Mars. The soft pad under each finger is the respective mount. The soft padding under the thumb is the mount of Mars and opposite it is the lunar mount. The earth mount is between the two and the hollow of the palm and the beginning of the palm at the wrist is the mount of Neptune. As you can see, here's the layout of your fingers the little finger relates to communication the ring finger to relationships the middle finger to responsibility the index finger to self-worth and the thumb to self assertion the second chakra is associated with the little finger the ring finger is associated with Apollo the sun god and the root chakra, the middle finger is associated with the throat chakra, the gateway of purity. The heart chakra is associated with the index finger and the fire element and Mars are associated with the thumb. Every finger has energy and has a role to play in our well-being and development. It is often said that one's health is in one's hands, quite literally to considering the awesome power given to each finger very often while healing with hands one can feel tender soft even painful areas on one palm while roaming over done with the fingers of the other hand these are pressure points and can mean that a certain correlated organ is dis disturbed or overused gentle everyday touching normally helps overworked parts tend to calm and underwork the areas, optimize the finger, and the palms are indeed vital. Now, if you want to finish checking this book out, I showed it once before, I'll show it again. Here you go. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to break down some examples. All right, so when you're dealing with astrology, As you can see here, you have the first house, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, so on. Here's the layout of what each house means. So you got first house, second house. I don't know if y'all can see that. And here's what each house means. So what you want to do is, let's say, for example, seventh house is right there where it say partners and pledges. 
So let's say that you're trying to manifest a relationship. Or you want a relationship to come to fruition. You want to mend the relationship, make the relationship better. You meditate and you meditate in that area. So let's say you got the planet Venus sitting in your seventh house. So for example, you take your index finger, that finger right there that says Venus Mount, Apollo, and you take it and you join it with the thumb and you start your meditation process. And what'll happen is, once you start meditating and you believe and you tap in with your mind and you understand that the power lies in your mind and your hands, you can bring these things into fruition. Now, what I am gonna say is too, don't use this power to manipulate situations. Now, don't bring something into fruition and you not planned on doing right by it. Because what happens is you got this planet called Saturn and Saturn deals with karma. So if your attentions are not good, trust and believe that Saturn is watching and Saturn will get you back with karma. So I need you to understand that before you start playing with these, this power of meditation, that make sure that your intentions are good. Because if your intentions are not good, trust and believe that Saturn is definitely going to come down and spank you. Because that's the planet that deals with karma. And if you play with it, Saturn's going to show you otherwise. If you live by Saturn, then you receive your good karma. So that's all I have for you. Quick little example. Show you how this meditation works and how you can bring things into fruition more quicker with the power of your hands and meditation. And following along with astrology. If you use that. Everybody have their different methods and styles of what they use, but I was just giving you an example of how this stuff works and how deep and how far astrology goes. Like I said, the power is in your hands and minds, and you can bring this stuff into fruition. But again, make sure that you have good intentions. I'm out. Peace.